Where's the station master? Probably home in bed. The very idea. This is just a flag station. The limited ain't supposed to stop here. Well, where's the city? Over there. Is there a hotel? Yes, but you wouldn't like it. Uh, well, is there a... Lady, you're holding up the limited. Well, well wait a minute. Uh, well, what shall I do? I haven't got the least idea, lady. Well, wait a minute. I might want to go with you. Good night. Well, don't stop. Senor Jean? Kid is just a shank of the evening. Oh. Bueno. Why, Benita, you little rascal, you look pretty enough to kiss. Well, why don't you try it? And get shot? Oh, Senor Jean, he flirt with all the girls, but he never kiss any. Is that so? <laughs> <laughs> there you are, Danny. That's what I do to him, kid. You better practice yourself. Let's have a drink. Three whiskeys. Hey, Stuart. Yeah. Here you're going across the border to fight for the rebels. Those big ears of yours hear everything, don't they? Filibustering is a high crime against the Mexican government. They'll stand you in front of a wall, send you to jail for life. Maybe we'll meet socially in the same Mexican calaboose. What are you hinting at? Just this. But if I do ride south, I'll be healed of my own guns. I won't be carrying those rotten shooting tools you're running across the border these nights. Set up three whiskeys. I'll take three, too. <laughs> Go get Sheriff Flores. <laughs> Say, Gene. Yeah? You've seen plenty of fighting everywhere. Why is it they gotta go start a war across the board? Well, I'm darned if I know, Nels. Unless it's just that over there they think the world's getting a little too crowded to live in. <laughs> you know, gentlemen, I think that humans are greater fools than animals, or even bugs. Now, we'll take bugs, for instance. They don't fight each other. They believe in live and let live. <laughs> of course, nobody's ever given bugs rifles or got them drunk or... That reminds me. I'm not going any further with this conversation unless I get a... Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now to continue. It's always been my idea that if you give children cap pistols to play with, when they get older, they want real guns. Real guns that shoot real bullets and kill real people. And the sad part of it is there's always someone who will sell them to them. Someone, for instance, that wants to run everything and boss everybody. You know, gentlemen, there's other things besides this that make men drunk. Yes, sir. Power does. Power makes men lie and cheat and steal and betray their friends. It even makes them give their best friends this. Will you shut up? They do kill each other across the border. Who cares? Not you, Hayworth. You don't care. Not as long as each poor devil killed is another dirty dollar in your pocket. I make allowances for a whiskey-soaked brain. Well, you don't have... tell you not to follow me here tonight? Uh, didn't I? <laughs> oh, Senor Jim, when you're drunk, you're loco. Where you go, Coco, she go to. You fall down, I take you home. Well, that may not be long. Well, let's have some more. dancing with your girl. Benita doesn't want to dance with him. Who says she don't? Take a walk. Hey, wait a minute. She hasn't done anything. I shut up. <laughs> Keep your shirt on, Danny. You ought to know no Stillwell writer's got a chance with the law in this town. Get out of here. Go on, Danny. Get out. Why don't you two big bad boys pick on someone your own size? Be a sport. Give those kids a break. Why, Danny intends to marry Bonita. Since marriage is so sacred to you, Stuart, I'm surprised you don't try it. I would. I would if I could make up my mind which one to take. Honest, there's so many women after me, I positively have to fight them all. As if any woman who thought anything of herself would tie up with a booze hound. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you look like a gambling man. I'll just make you a little proposition. This says that I'll marry the first girl that hits town. The liquor's talking. This De Niro's talking louder. That's easy money. Put up. Take care of that, Eddie. All right, Stuart. Thanks, Sheriff. It'll be mine before the week's out. Keep it now, Eddie. Yeah? You sure? Hey, magnifica. Poco, wait a minute. You you don't by any chance mean fat. Oh, no. No, no fat. Encanto. Deliciosa. Attractiva. Poco, you rascal. If you're lying to me, I'll trim your ears like a bulldog. Come on. I'll be back for that dough, Sheriff, and with a bride. Here comes the bride. We hope to see you. Well. Hello. 
Now look here, you don't look like the sort of person who would deliberately make matters worse for yourself. <clears throat> Excuse me. Are you married? Are you married? You know what? In Piazza or Don Manuel? No, come no, on, no, come no. on, hurry up. Uh, en nombre de la autoridad que me confiere el cargo de juez eh, de paz del territorio de Nuevo México, procedo a celebrar este matrimonio. Come on, hurry up. ¿Dónde está el anillo de casamiento? Don Manuel, she wants the ring. You gotta have a ring. Excuse me, have you got a ring? Uh, I say, have you... Uh, never mind. G give me your hand. Give me your hand. Look, I don't want to be rough with you. Now give me your hand. Thank you. Go on. Uh, señorita, ¿acepta usted a este hombre como su esposo? Say sí, lady, and say it quick. Sí. Sí. ¿Cuál es su nombre? ¿Cuál es su nombre? Now your name, miss. You'll be branded pretty and it won't even sting. So what is it? Madeline Hammond. She says her name is Madeline Hammond. She... Madeline Hammond? You're not Al Hammond's sister. Yes. Well, uh, you... Get him out of here. See, Captain. You don't want anything, Castle. You come on. You have no time in the dinero. I know your brother. Matter of fact, I I think a lot of him. Miss Hammond, I don't know how to explain this. It was just a fool bet. Take me to my brother. I can't do that. He's up in the mountains with my boss. Well, then get me out of this horrible place. Yes. Yes, certainly. Señor Jean, Señor Jean, algo terrible ha pasado. Mataron un hombre. What? What is it? Señor Jean, I'm so glad I found you. Wait a minute, Bonita. Just a minute, Bonita. You must help me. Uh, just, just a moment, please. Bonita, Bonita, what's the matter? Danny, he killed a man. Was it Sneed? See, si. they fight again after you go. What am I going to do? Well, where's Danny now? He right. I don't know where. Look, Benita, you take my horse and ride across the border. I'll get word to Danny to join you in Chiricahua. The sheriff can't get him there. Oh, God! No, no, no. No, you save that for Danny. Come on, Benita. shot and they're searching for the killer. Hurry, please. I'm staying here. Where do you think you'd bring up with that drunken mob? Miss Hammond. Miss Hammond, please, don't, don't, don't you think you could, uh, uh, yeah.
Come in. Good morning. I hope you slept well. I just brought your bags from the station. What would you like for breakfast? I hope I didn't appear disagreeable last night. That didn't matter. I'd been warned. I beg your pardon. I'm Florence Kingsley. Miss Kingsley. So you're the reason I had to make this miserable trip? Yes. Bury my brother. You can't stop it. I'll take him home. I'll keep him here. I'll stop his allowance. That will be the best thing that ever happened to him. He'll have to get a job. A job? Out here we work and like it. You wouldn't understand that. My brother worked. That's funny. Why don't you laugh then? Work at what? Punching cows. He's been doing it for fun. Now he'll get paid for it. How dare you interfere in my affairs? Because your brother happens to be my affair now. Perhaps I'd better tell you what I think of you. If I returned the compliment, I could be arrested. You're a scheming, impertinent, conniving This little... isn't my house. If you don't like it, you know what you can do. I wouldn't stay here another minute. If you go out like that, you'll get sunburned. Say nothing of what the cowboys might do if they saw you. It's my nightgown. And my robe, too. Get my things. My bags. Where are they? My clothes. Get out and let me alone. <laughs> Why did I come to this awful place? I made Alfred write to you about us. I knew that would bring you. You seem to forget that the doctor sent him out here. You didn't care anything about him. You gave him all the money he wanted, and that ended your responsibility. You were off somewhere in Europe having a good time. I didn't want to fall in love with Al. I was sorry for him. That'd be for anything that was sick. Only for me, he would have been sent back to you in a pine box. But I threw a rope on him. I've got a claim on him, and I'm going to hang on to him in spite of you and high water. I'm not after your money. We don't want it. The best thing that ever happened to Al is to have to fight for his bread and butter and for me. His Majesty. Don't try to rob Al of his chance to be a man. You're rich. You've got everything, and I... I'm sorry, I let go. You have a terrible temper. But maybe it's a good thing. I mean, for Alfred. Where is he? Jean rode to get him last night. Jean. Oh, that's the gentleman who... who brought me here. Yes. He borrowed my horse. Stillwell's ranch is high up in the mountains. It's a hard and dangerous ride. Worse at night. You let him go in that condition? Tied her sober. I'd like to see anyone who can stop Gene Stewart when he makes up his mind about anything. He's a fighter. You better get dressed. I'll go start breakfast. They'll be here in a minute. All right. Give me one of those, too. Doc says Sneed will come out all right. Only the good die young. Did you get anything out of that Mexican justice of peace? Ah, he's got a mouth like a mousetrap. Oh, he says, Mino Savi, Mino Savi. And I can't find hide or hair Benita. Get your mind off women. I pay you for protection, and you stand around with a mouth full of teeth in it. Stewart made last night about gun running may have a smelly echo. But my good friend, if I land in a federal pen, you'll be inside looking out with me. And all because of one loud-mouthed drunken cowboy. Where'd you get these? Down at the railroad station last night. There were tracks there, too. Gene Stewart. He bet me he'd marry the first girl that hit town. 
Well, here's wishing him a honeymoon. Alone. Any place in the desert across the border. Welcome to our city, Your Majesty. Alfred, how well you look. Hello. Oh, stop. You smell like a horse. Oh, you'll get used to that. Alfred, I, I can't get over the change in you. Whom do I thank? Well, who do you thank? Of course, I've had a horrible example. Boy, I wouldn't have your head this morning for a million bucks. Oh, Majesty, this is Bill Stilwell. This is my sister, Bill. She holds the money bags. I aim to be right nice to her, then. <laughs> we all try to. I've been trying to sell your brother the prettiest piece of land in the Southwest. I guess I'll have to go to work on you. He said you were tough, but you don't look hard to me. <laughs> well, we'll talk about that later. Mm -hmm. I don't aim to help sin along any, but Gene, you look as if you need a drink. Come on into town with me. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, he'll be right along. Oh. I want to thank you for getting my brother. Yeah. You better put on your hat. Do you want to get sunstroke? Well, if I get it, I guess I got it coming. Phew. Men are such fools. I choose to overlook what happened last night because you were not wholly accountable. It's very kind of you to put it that way. Of course, I shall depend on you to keep it quiet. I certainly will. Don Manuel is my friend. That is, when I'm sober. Not so much for your sake as that of your pretty little Mexican friend. I feel sorry for her. For, for Benita? Benita? What a very pretty name. Well, uh... Oh, what a beautiful animal. Hello, Poco. Your Senor Jean. What's his name? Pal. That's short for Palomino. He's bred straight through from the old Moorish barbs, aren't you, Pal? If for no other reason than the love of this beautiful creature, I should think you'd want to be decent. That's all. You may go. I've stood a lot from you, Gene. More, I guess, than I would from a son. But after last night... What have you heard, Bill? About you and Miss Hammond. It's all over town. Where, for instance? The Adobe Saloon. Well, I won't worry you anymore, Bill. Thanks for everything you've done. You better get a new foreman. Gene! Wait! Leave me alone, Poco. No, no, go in. Someone kill you. Let go of me, Poco, do you hear? Please, Senor G. Snake eyes. Yeah. Snake eyes. Hmm. 
clothes, George. Come in to collect that bet? No. And where's Benita? Or you'll never lay hands on her again. And then you helped her across the border. Yeah. For a rum hound, you're getting to be quite a spark. You met a woman on that midnight train. I met a lady. You met Al Hammond's sister. I know because I saw her bags at the depot. You took her over to Flo Kingsley's. <laughs> what you do, carry her arms? There were only one set of tracks. Or maybe you've took to wearing these geegaws and losing them on the trail. Oh, come on, don't be bashful. Open up, we're all listening. Don't make me go over there and ask the lady what happened. Well, this is one bet I don't mind losing. Beating up an officer carries a heavy penalty, Stuart. Gene, you better ride. That bad? You won't head a posse for a month. But he has friends. I'll go over the river. What about your mail? Just mark it, address unknown. I won't be coming back. At least, not right away. Thanks, Nels. Hurt you, Poco? Well, he, he's not hurt here, but you hurt me here. <laughs> Everything she's all right now. Nothing hurt Poco anymore when you smile at him like that. Come on, Poco. <laughs> all right, I'll buy your rent. But I'll expect you to remain in charge, at least until my brother learns the ropes. I'll be glad to stay. All right. We'll make that part of the deal. Thank you very much. Take pal where I'm going. Nor can I sell a thing I love. Nor can I sell a thing I love. Won't you accept him as some small apology for the trouble I've caused you? Gene Stewart. Take him to the stable for me. Where's Mr. Stewart now? Oh, Poco, he, he not know. Senor Jean, no tell me. But I ride and ride, and someday I find him. Adios, senora. That's strange. What? Poco called you senora. Yes, he did. In Spanish, that means married woman. Does it? 
John. Yes, isn't it? Yes. Did it happen this side of the border? Yes. With the Americans? Must have strong reasons for not wanting their presence known. This is the 20th century. There are supposed to be no more frontiers where men can shoot their fellow creatures without being punished. Bill, I want something done about this. I wish Jean Stewart were here. So do I, if it would do any good. Majestad. Majestad. Señora. Señora. Poco. Better get your cutters. Take it easy, Poco. Majestad. Majestad. What, Poco? He wants to see your nibs. See, si. see, si, you take me, Majestad. Pronto. Get him up here, Nell. Come on. Oh, I wish we'd never seen this place. For all I care, they can give it back to the Indians. You're going with me to Boston. And when you're married, it will be in St. Stephen's with civilized decency. Sis, these last few months haven't taught you a thing. In a crisis, you revert right back to type. Nothing but a New England starch skirt. Sorry for coming in this way, miss, but Poker here is in a pretty bad way. Says he's got to see you. It is El Capitan, senora. Captain? Si, El Capitan Jean. Yes, Poco. El Capitan is in bad fight. Soldiers all killed. Was Captain Stewart killed? Oh, no. El Capitan no killed. El Capitan mucho enfermo. Deserto. Yerva la muerta en al alma. He means Jean's alone. Deserted. Sick at heart and mind. Don't they? In Chiricahua. El Capitan die soon if someone no take him away. Which means he's drinking himself to death. Being shot at ain't so bad. But for a man like Gene to be drawn away... You go to Chiricahua. Oh, Majestad. Only you can say the words to bring El Capitan back to life. Did Captain Stewart send you? Oh, no. 
Oh, no, he'd kill me if he know, but, but I don't care if, if he live. You go, please. Poco, he die for you if you go. I'll try, Poco. I'll try. I'll go to Mexico. Oh, oh gracias. Gracias, my God. Gracias. <laughs> Captain Stewart. Jean. Jean, look at me. Oh, Jean. When you've lost your pride, you've lost everything. I haven't got any time for pride. Go away, will you? Go on. I'm going to take you home with me. Oh, uh, no, you're not. Why did you bring me here? To talk to you. Sit down. Thanks. I'm not worth the trouble. Probably not. The doctor tells me there is no physical treatment that ever really cures a drunkard. The desire to change must come from within. And because my own life has been somewhat useless, I've decided to try my hand at being useful. So. You'll become, shall we say, a, a sort of biological experiment. Look, Miss Hammond, do you realize the south of the border I'm a criminal? Well, I am. I'm a filibuster, and that's practically a professional killer. There's imprisonment or worse hanging over my head. You see, you do know right from wrong. So you can stop killing your fellow beings just as you can stop drinking, if you choose. I'm afraid if I tried to stop... It would kill me. So sorry for yourself, aren't you? Yes, I guess I am. 
You see, what comes after death is so uncertain, and down deep, I'm really pretty yellow. Could death be worse than what we're both going through? No. Then why don't you try to stop? Well, at least make an effort to. Other men have quit. Men who've fallen lower. Men who are weaker. I have faith in Eugene Stewart. You have... If I could believe that. Without faith, we are only dust. I'll quit. You... You won't fail me. I've done a lot of bad things in my life, Miss Hammond. But I've always tried to keep my word. I won't fail you. Helen. Oh. Oh, and this is Monty. How do you do? Howdy, Miss. Majesty. Where on earth did you ever get that? That's my foreman, Jean Stewart. Now I know why you didn't come home to Boston. Oh, Helen, stop it. He looks my way, I'll faint. <laughs> well, I haven't seen much of you in the last few days. My job is to keep your cattle this side of the border. In these times, that's quite a chore. Well, who's the little girl with the pretty eyes? Friend of mine. Oh, Social error. You're looking very well today. Thank you. Do me a favor, will you? Please don't take your friends that way towards the border. Something there I shouldn't see? Plenty. Not pretend's the reason for your long absence. Or maybe your little Mexican friend, Benita. I found the trouble. The man who shot Al? Maybe. Anyway, you had a reason to. Where? Up in the Ghost Rocks. The Ghost Rocks? See, see. We're riding up there, Bill. Maybe Miss Hammond would like it. We better get Sheriff Hall. We don't have to get the sheriff. He's right there. What? Did you what? see him? You bet Polka saw him right in about an hour ago. See, I saw him. He's in with the gun runners. Gun runners? You bet Matt Hayworth and his gang are using this ranch as the headquarters to shove the rotten guns over the border. You lead, Jane. We'll follow. Well, come on. Come on, Come on, let's go. You are not. We've checked on you. I know how much of this junk you moved over the border in the last month. You're getting more out of this than I am. So what? Who 
So Stuart's back. I told you there'd be trouble when you potted young Al Hammond. I'll take care of Stuart. No, you don't. Stuart's got enough men with him to clean you out. Let me handle this. Side of those rocks is the land of the Aztecs. Hmm, so romantic, but not half so interesting to me as that booted Adonis we left behind. <laughs> Yet you don't know about those nesters up there. Uh, as a matter of fact, I, I just warned them to get out. And it's taken you since daylight to do that? Uh, you get the owner, Miss Hammond, to swear out an eviction notice, and I'll serve it. Now, we're not going in for any legal red tape. We're curious to know what your friend Hayworth is hiding. We're riding up there to find out. And if he fires at us on this property, we're shooting back. I'm warning you, don't take the law in your own hands. You're not soldiering for some foreign nation now, Stuart. Or are you? Come on, Speed. Well, what are we waiting for, Dean? We get that next club of rocks spread out, take advantage of cover, and don't shoot first. Let's go. <laughs> Are you 
look crazy. Let go. You're not going up there. No, but you could. Well, those the men have tried to kill your brother. They'd have killed you. And what of it? I can't trust you out of my sight. Liquor, women, guns, fighting, that's all you ever think about. Majesty, please. Never thinking about those who love you. Those who never know what you're doing or when you'll be brought home dead. What you need is some of your own medicine and I'm going to give it to you. Let go. Majesty, listen. I command you, let go. <laughs> Who do you suppose could have plugged a fine citizen like Mr. Hayworth? Gene Stewart? That's right. Hurt you, Poco. I got that warrant for you, Stuart, and it covers everything in the book, including the murder of Nat Hayworth. Senor Jean, make them let me go. Hold it, Jean. Take it easy, Benita. You'll have a chance to take care of him in jail. Just like you did on his big drunken cherry cow. They killed my husband, Danny. He resisted arrest. And they said they killed you, too. Don't give them an excuse to get you. See this? 
is a request from military authorities across the border to deliver you for court-martial. I hope they stand you against Adobe Wall. You're coming or we gotta take you. Arriva! Arriva! You... You caponita loose. Quick! Ride straight out. No look back. Not you, Senor Hawes. Not you, Senor Sneak. You no move. You get down from your horses. Turn El Capitan Stewart over to be killed, huh? <laughs> no. No, I, I don't think you live long enough to do that. You are the kind of Americanos who, who kick us and beat us and call us greasers. Even a poor little girl like Bonita. You, you make my people think all gringos bad, like you. Not kind and good like Senor Jean. I, I've learned now. I, I've learned mucho from my capitan. And so, I, I give you a chance. Now, you go for your guns. Santa Guadalupe, that someday you no drink. <laughs> someday you find lady who will make you good. So I, I'm pretty happy now. Adios, Senor Chin. Adios, Poco. Adios. If anyone can be brave when the time of parting comes. I love you, Jean. Afraid to let you go. The things I've done must be explained. And that's why I'm writing south. Even if it means a jail sentence. Don't throw away love and happiness for something you've done in the past. It's our future that counts, that's all. I can't let you go. Our future is here on the border. And it must start with a clean slate. Not with me as a fugitive. Surely you understand that? Yes. Yes, I do. Have faith, dear. 